かなドリーム振り返らし曖昧な輪駆け抜けよう憂鬱になる現実に立ち向かう胸の中で成長してる勇者
they telephoned the Fat Controller. So, Gordon didn't want to take the special and ran into a ditch. What's that you say? The special's waiting. Tell Edward to take it, please. And Gordon... Oh, leave him where he is. We haven't time to bother with him now. On the other side of the ditch, some little boys were chattering. Coo, doesn't he look silly? They'll never get him out. They began to sing. Silly old Gordon fell in a ditch, fell in a ditch, fell in a ditch. Silly old Gordon fell in a ditch, all on a Monday morning. Gordon lay in the ditch all day. Oh dear, he thought, I shall never get out. But that evening, they brought floodlights. Then with powerful jacks, they lifted Gordon and made a road of sleepers under his wheels to keep him from the mud. Strong wire ropes were fastened to his back end, and James and Henry, pulling hard, at last managed to bring him to the wreck. Late that night, Gordon crawled home a sadder and wiser A few days later, Thomas was at the junction when Gordon shuffled in with some trucks. Poof, remarked Thomas. What a funny smell. Can you smell a smell? I can't smell a smell, said Annie and Clarabel. A funny, musty sort of smell, said Thomas. No one noticed it till you did, grunted Gordon. It must be yours. Annie, Clarabel, do you know what I think it is? whispered Thomas loudly. It's ditch water. Gordon snorted, but before he could answer, Thomas puffed quickly away. Annie and Clarabel could hardly believe their ears. He's dreadfully rude. I feel quite ashamed. I feel quite ashamed. He's dreadfully rude. They twisted to each other. You mustn't be rude. You make us ashamed. They kept telling Thomas, but Thomas didn't care a bit. That was funny. That was funny. He chuckled. He felt very pleased with himself. Annie and Clarabel were deeply shocked. They had a great respect for Gordon the big engine. Thomas left the coaches at a station and went to a mine for some trucks. Long ago, miners digging for lead had made tunnels under the ground. Though strong enough to hold up trucks, their roofs could not bear the weight of engines. A large notice said, Danger! Engines must not pass this board. Thomas had often been warned, but he didn't care. Silly old board, he thought. He had often tried to pass it, but had never succeeded. This morning, he had made a plan. The fireman went to turn the points. Now, said Thomas to himself, I'm bumping the trucks fiercely. He jerked his driver off the footplate, and he followed the trucks into the siding. His driver, unheard, jumped up. Look out! he shouted. Fire and smoke, said Thomas. I'm sunk. And he was. Oh dear, he said. I am a silly engine. And a very naughty one too, said a voice behind him. I saw you. Please get me out, I won't be naughty again. I'm not so sure, replied the fat controller. We can't lift you out with a crane, the ground's not firm enough. Hmm, let me see. I wonder if Gordon could pull you out. 
Yes, sir, said Thomas nervously. He didn't want to meet Gordon just yet. Down a mine, is he? Ho, oh, 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 ho, ho, laughed Gordon. What a joke, what a joke, he chortled, puffing to the rescue. Poop, poop, little Thomas, he whistled. We'll have you out in a couple of puffs. Strong cables were fastened between the two engines. Are you ready? Heave! called the fat controller. But they didn't pull Thomas out of the two Gordon was panting hard and nearly purple before he had dragged Thomas out of the hole. I'm sorry I was cheeky, said Thomas. That's all right, Thomas. You made me laugh. I like that. I'm in disgrace, Gordon went on pathetically. I feel very low. I'm in disgrace too, said Thomas. Why, so you are, Thomas. We're both in disgrace. Shall we form an alliance? An alley? What was it? An alliance, Thomas. United we stand, together we fall, said Gordon grandly. You help me, and I help you. How about it? Right you are, said Thomas. Good, that's settled, grumbled Gordon. And buffer to buffer, the allies puffed up.